Today we're here at Bide in the Trees, the ultimate getaway if you ask me. There is Koi Pond, Sky Bridge, beautiful tree house and the interior is incredible. This place is one of my favorites this year. Let's go check it out. Box Springs, Georgia at the Bide in the Trees. This is a 700 square foot tree house. This is the perfect honeymoon destination, couples retreat. It is just beautiful here. One of the top places I've been to this year, definitely making it at the top list at the end of this year. I love it this much. I was truly blown away while uh, walking up on this property. There's a lot to show you, so let's just jump right on into it. Whenever you pull up onto the property, there's a driveway here, plenty of parking space, and then you got your tree house right here behind me. It looks small on this side, but it is huge. We'll walk down this gigantic walkway and we'll walk uh, inside and check it out. Walking inside, the space is so much larger than what it looks like on the outside. 700 square feet of living space, the ceilings are really tall, windows everywhere, the loft, your kitchen, and over here is your bed and living space. Very open concept and I just love everything that they've done with this place. Definitely the couple's getaway, if you ask me, and a set up to a T for you guys to have the ultimate time here. When you walk in, they have everything set up for you immediately. You got robes hanging up. They got chocolates also here on this table. And then we walk into your main area, the living and bedroom space. The bed over here on the left, there's beautiful linens, a custom headboard over here, nightstands on both sides. Laying here, you can view out the windows and view the rest of your cabin. And across from this, you got a small dining area right here. And then over on this side, we got some seating options here, a TV mounted above the wood mantle, and then a fireplace below, an electric fireplace. Really cozy and aesthetic in here. Decorations are beautiful. We got a record player here too, of course, if you want. And then on this side, underneath the loft, we have your kitchen space. This is the last area of this main floor. Huge uh, dining area right here with the two chairs. This side, we got the farmhouse sink. There's a dishwasher over here, some cabinets. There's some open shelves here with some dishes. And then on this side, we got the green cabinetry still, the stove here in the middle to be able to cook anything you need, your coffee supplies with floating shelves, your microwave over here, and then we have a full-size fridge uh, tucked in this cubby with some more cabinet space. Plenty of options here, very functional kitchen. And we got some options over here. If we slide open this custom barn door, these were over 100 years old and refurbished by the host. They're beautiful. This one has a washer and dryer in this room. Really handy. And then the one over here is your bathroom. We'll slide this one open and this bathroom space is beautiful. This bathroom has your vanity and your toilet on the left, but the best part is the tiled walk-in shower right here to my right. The beautiful green tile matches the rest of the color scheme in this cabin. Imported from Italy, the waterfall shower head, and there's even a small window in here. You have a little inlet right here for your shampoo and everything they leave here for you. One nice touch is they have a heated fan right here above me with a timer. I can hit the five minute timer, and that's gonna be on for five minutes and warm this place up. Really nice touch. I see here that this says Abide 2022. I have a tattoo that matches the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what are the odds? That's pretty funny. Justin is the Wi-Fi. I am Wi-Fi. The last space in this cabin is the loft up here. This loft area is a hangout slash private area if you need to get things done. They have a beautiful desk right here. They even leave some pins for this map. You can pin where you're from. It's already been pinned a lot from Florida, Maine. I see somebody from South Korea that's visited here, which is really cool. You got a green couch over here. The decor is beautiful. And this is just a nice cozy area. We can overlook your main space, feel how big it is. And then a really cool option up here, if we open this door, is an outdoor deck space. This is a private deck area for the loft space. If you need to come up here and overlook the rest of your property, we're super high up. Good views of the skywalk and everything else we'll be exploring down there. There's a small dining option out here. This is just a really nice spot. But this isn't the only deck space. There's a lot more to offer. 
This first area is the covered deck portion. Plenty of seating options out here, but the best part is this jacuzzi tub wrapped around in the beautiful board and batten wood. You got the faucet coming out over here. The blue water, there's two headsets here, so if you're coming here as a couple, uh, you can both sit in here, relax, and enjoy your time. There's string lights around it, and if you want, you can even close uh, this area up with these curtains, which is really nice. And you get beautiful views of the property from up here. We can go over here and overlook. You got your sky bridge, which we'll check out here in a second. The fire pit down there, a koi pond and their string lights. It is just a beautiful scenery out here. And then we can uh, continue walking and we got the sky bridge. This sky bridge has to be one of the coolest features an Airbnb can offer. You can walk all the way out here and it extends 25 or 30 feet up into the air and we are eye level with the pine trees all around us. The privacy here is amazing. We can take a look at the drone shot, not a house in sight around here. All of the land surrounding this is conservation land, which is awesome. So you won't have to worry about anybody uh, encroaching up on us. The privacy is top notch. There's a couple chairs out here on the main deck area to sit out here and enjoy. And we can just take a look back at the Bide tree house and it is beautiful here. String lights everywhere. The bridge just make this, makes this place look majestic. This is one of my favorite features here. It does not get old. One really nice feature that these hosts have done is they added these light switches for everything here. They're all labeled. So this one says fire pit lights and skywalk lights. It's super easy to turn on and it looks neat and professional, which is important. Walking off of the skywalk, there are stairs that lead to underneath the treehouse and the hosts did an incredible job with this space. The main part is the swinging day bed here in the middle, chandelier above us, there's seating options over here, cornhole boards and even an outdoor dining table with a sleek tree slab here for the table and we get beautiful views of the rest of the property down here. There's some hanging chairs over here, plenty of options to hang out uh, whenever you want down here. Oh, and then one awesome feature they included are some fans for the uh, outdoor bed if you are laying here. It's hot in Georgia, so that is a nice touch they added. We can continue walking this walkway and this leads out to the beautiful outdoor space. The views here are incredible string lights, you got your sky bridge that surrounds all of us, then there's a koi pond and a fire pit area. Have you ever seen a koi pond at an Airbnb? Custom built by the daughter uh, herself, they were telling me. This is just beautiful. The landscaping all around this is top notch. We can even feed the koi fish if we want to, and I enjoyed that very much. There's like six or seven in here. Really beautiful. Hello, you want some food? There you go, there you go. And then down at the end of this walkway, you got your fire pit area. They left the wood here for you to use and all you have to do is light it up and you are set. Surrounded by the scenery, listening to the flowing water of the pond. Looking back up at your tree house, this is just a beautiful scenery to sit at with your significant other, whoever you're here with. I could not ask for a better area than this. I mean, I really want to come back here myself with my wife and just enjoy my time here. I liked it that much. So that is everything with this tour. There was a lot here to explore. I highly suggest coming here yourself. The link is down in the description below if you want to come check it out. And guys, I'll see you next week in another Airbnb tour.